Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we are going to share what I've been using in these past couple weeks. I have candles that I finished. I have some body care. Of course, I have some wax melts. I've got lots of good stuff in this basket, and I'm actually getting ready to go on a trip for a week. So I really want to start fresh when I get back. So I'm just working on clearing this out so I can start fresh when I get back from my trip. But without further ado, let's get into it. First candle that I finished was Pink Petal Tea Cake. This is from Bath and Body Works. I've had this for a good little while now. Now, if you look in the in, inside of the candle, looks a little bit of a hot mess. I actually use this under my candle lamp. I utilize candle lamps and candle crocs a lot lately to really get through my candles. And this just doesn't perform well. It seems to be the trend with Bath & Body Works candles a lot more now than usual is the poor performance. So it just was not performing well for me. So I stuck it under the candle lamp. And if you're unfamiliar with a candle lamp, it actually uses a heating lamp on the top to heat the wax from the top down, but it's only gonna melt layer by layer. So every couple days, I'll take the candle, dump that top layer and work through all the way at the bottom until there's none left. The wicks just kind of got sidetracked in the process so obviously you cannot burn this candle anymore but this is a couple years old this was 2022 and this candle was actually 2450 if you can see right there and some of them are now 3295 so it's crazy how much they've gone up over the years but the notes read pink rose petals pound cake and a vanilla glaze and from what's left in this i love this fragrance this is a beautiful floral sweet bakery fragrance so i really really enjoy it i did have a couple of these when they came out and this was my last one so i just wanted to finish it out the strength and throw on the candle lamp was great that's another thing with candle lamps or candle crocs if you're not getting the performance that you really wanted out of the candle put it in a candle lamp or put it on a crock and you will get that throw that you're looking for so finished pink petal tea cake i finished a classic palo santo this is actually a new packaging this was from candle day it is a wrapped jar there with the mountainscape and the bisque white lid these are my favorite lids on the white barn candles and palo santo is a classic palo santo wood warm amber and soft musk i burned this in my office here and i love this fragrance it's smoky it's woody. I feel like even if you don't love Palo Santo, you might enjoy this because of all those other woodsy notes in it. It's definitely a different fragrance, but it seems to be one that a lot of people love. And it is one of my favorites. But of course, when it got to the halfway point, the flames were so minuscule. Not as minuscule as the next candle I'll show you, but they were so low, I just continued to let it burn until it extinguished itself, which is just right about to here. So satisfied finished that candle and then the last bath and body works candle i finished is paris cafe this i believe was also for candle day rich roasted coffee sugared brioche and vanilla cream i love paris cafe there's no scent left in this because look at this burn oh my gosh okay these flames were so small i mean you couldn't even see them in the dark. If I turned the lights off, these flames were so small that even if I breathed over the candle, I feel like it would blow them out. So I finished this in my kitchen. Finally, they just weren't staying lit anymore. So I finished it. Not going to waste any more of my time with this one. And yeah. And when they get low like that, I couldn't really smell this. And Paris Cafe is a very strong candle, but I just did not get the performance out of this guy. So I finished that one. I finished from my friend over at 1820 House. She's a local in Ohio candle company. I finished two of her candles. Love her fragrances. This first one is Cake Burned All the Way Down. She uses a plant-based soy wax. So you are going to get that natural uh, residue on the side that just happens with soy wax but I love this this is like a bright not bright but like a fresh vanilla cake 
It was really great. I blended it with a lot of other candles that I was burning. And when I was melting wax, it just added a great background bakery cake fragrance to my space. So really enjoyed that one. And then this is one that I've bought multiple times. Vanilla Santal and Coffee Bean. Again, burn perfect all the way down like all of her candles do. And oh, this was so great. This is really interesting. This is a rich sandalwood perfumey fragrance with a fresh coffee bean. And those two blended together. Perfection, chef's kiss. Really enjoyed this. I alternated in the kitchen with this and the Paris Cafe on different days. Definitely got better performance out of the 1820 house candles, but I digress. I really, really enjoyed that one. Oh, I finished a Goose Creek candle in Espresso Cake Pop. This was not an enjoyable experience. For one, I didn't like the fragrance. It definitely did not smell like coffee. It smelled like chocolate cake and I do not like chocolate fragrances and I did not care for this. The notes are cake batter, espresso beans, and frosting. Well, it must be chocolate cake batter because it smells like straight up chocolate to me. And the burn. Okay. The burn on this guy was super slow, super minuscule. And if you can see on the bottom there, look at all the carbon deposit in there. That happens with candles when they don't perform well towards the end. All the wick drippings typically fall in the wax. I was just letting this burn until it extinguished itself. It finally did. But just like a Bath and Body Works candle, when it gets to that halfway point, it just gets kaput and then there's nothing left. There's no saving it. So really made me sad. But I've had good luck with the Goose Creek candles overall. But I will say they do perform pretty much the same way as Bath and Body Works candles do. So not a perfect candle by any means, but they're affordable and you can access them all the time. So we have that. I finished two candles from my guy, Matt Matthews. He is a comedian, TikTok star, um, extraordinaire. He's awesome. He's a farmer. He's a boudoir photographer. I've talked about him a lot, but his candles are great. They have super cheeky names. And this Friday, March 14th, is that the 14th or the 15th? Well, today's the 11th is Monday, 12 Tuesday, 13 Wednesday, 14, 15th. The 15th, he is launching his new spring candles. There's four new launches. I will be in New York when that happens, but I probably will order them because I really love his candles, his three wick candles especially. And this one is from the holidays. Naughty is the new nice. I actually finished that in his little tiny size, which he offers in sample boxes. Those sell out very quickly. I did burn these both at the same time. I burned the big one in my living room and then this one in the kitchen. And I know this little guy doesn't throw well because it's a small candle. I mean, it's not going to be a super great performer, but the three wicks performed so well. And this was an incredible bakery fragrance. I bought these with my own money, so I'm not paid to say these things. I'm not an ambassador, anything like that. But this is Snickerdoodle. So Naughty is the new nice Snickerdoodle. 100% soy wax, clean burning, made in Birmingham, Alabama. His candles are great. Great, great guy. Small business. His aunt helps him a lot with the candle line. But uh, performed well, threw well. I'm starting his vanilla candle right now in my bedroom. It's called Vanilla AF. It's super cute. Really great. Love. This is like a sweet cinnamon sugar, but... Even though it has a snickerdoodle name, it sounds like there's like icing to it too. I get this rich like royal sweet vanilla icing note to the candle. So I really, really enjoyed that one. And the single wick performed super well as well for me. Now, the other one I also got for him from him was a winter candle. Very cheeky name. It says winter is coming. Wish I was. <laughs> and the note is smoke, or the scent is smoke and sage. And again, burned down completely, all the way down, self-extinguished. And, oh, I loved this. This was a rich sage, like a very cleaning the house sage with a very, very heavy smoke. This is definitely not a scent for everybody, but on those really, really cold nights when I just wanted a comforting, cozy candle, his smoke and sage is great. So I finished that one up 
always will repurchase his candles. Really, really love them. And then I finished two Kringle candles. Now I am a Kringle candle ambassador. I do earn a small commission if you use my code DrewYawk15. I will link down below. But I finished two of the new spring summer candles that launched. And these were sent to me in PR, so I did not pay for them. But again, I will give you my 100% honest opinion. I did love both of these. But again, I'm not paid to say that. I did enjoy them. The first one is Cake Pops from the Country Candle Line. Now, let me tell you. The Kringle Country Candle line has changed so much over the years. This is his homage to Yankee Candle. They're the two wick candles, the uh, apothecary style jars. But let me tell you, when they first launched, they were 100% paraffin. I did not like them. Trash. They did not perform well or anything. Well, when they switched to 100% soy in the Kringle line, he also slowly switched to them in the country line. And let me tell you, very inconsistent, did not love the burn. So what I love about Kringle is he actually went back to the drawing board. And when I keep mentioning he, Mick Kittridge, founder and CEO of Kringle, went back to the drawing board and changed the wicks and the formula of these candles and perfection. Look at this. It burned down all the way and the throw. This is Cake Pops. For one, obsessed with the fragrance, obsessed with the label. It was this beautiful purple color. This was a rich vanilla buttercream Cake Pop fragrance. Like, the name Cake Pops 100% hits this. I remember I watched a video on, like, a DIY Starbucks Cake Pop video. And it's literally, like, a cup of, like, a tub of frosting, like, store frosting mixed with cake like cake pieces so you can imagine what a cake pop you know smells like you've probably eaten a cake pop in your life but i'm saying a really rich sugary cake fragrance captured in this candle it threw so well i did 99 percent of this whenever i first burned it i did it in my bedroom and it was super strong so i actually moved it into my living room in a hurricane and it did fill that space really nicely it didn't blow me out of the house i mean it's a one candle in a big open space it's not going to blow me out of the house but every time i walked into the room i could smell it it was noticeable and what i did smell was perfection delicious vanilla bakery goodness highly recommend cake pops and again the burn on these new kringle countries are fantastic i will do when i get back from vacation i want to light up the sweet strawberry the strawberry lemonade candle and i want to film the process of it burning for you guys so like do little takes and put it together in a video so that's on my agenda when i come back but yeah love that one and then i absolutely love this i know this is a little bit of a controversial fragrance palo or sage and palo santo I love Palo Santo. I've said it before. I finished the Bath and Body Works version. This is a much fresher Palo Santo, where I feel like a lot of Palo Santo fragrances have the wood mixed with them. They have like an amber, a smoky fragrance. This is like fresh, fresh Palo Santo mixed with the sage. I mean, you have the image of the Palo Santo right here, the sage right here combined. This is that fragrance. It's that fresh sage. It's that fresh Palo Santo blended together. This entire candle I did in my bedroom from top to bottom. I literally lit it every night. Yes, you see the black soot there. It happens when you love a fragrance that much and you just want to let it burn all day long which I did multiple times. I admit it. Listen, I do. I let my candles burn longer than they than I should, and I don't clean my jars before to show you that they look clean. So yeah, I did. It happens. But mm, I love this fragrance. If you like fresh, if you like woodsy, if you love sage fragrances, if you love Palo Santo fragrances, definitely try this. If you don't like Palo Santo, I don't think you're going to like it because it is a very dominant Palo Santo fragrance. And the burn, perfection, burned all the way down, clearly. So, really love that. Now, let's discuss See Some Scentsy. Now, when I am filming this, which is March 11th, is my birthday. And what better fragrance to melt on your birthday than Scentsy Happy Birthday? 
I have three bars currently going in my room or in my house. I have two bars in my living room and I have one bar split between my bedroom with the Matt Matthews vanilla candle. And in this room, I have warmers all throughout the office and everything has Scentsy happy birthday in it. If you don't know happy birthday, you can't get it right now. It is in my Scentsy club. Oh, it is the richest fun Fetty cake scent. Like, I want to melt this and burn this and be in cake heaven. Like, totally, I have more bars. My Scentsy Club is processing in April, so I will have even more bars, but I love Happy Birthday. It's a staple. If you love cake scents, next time it's going to bring back my bar, definitely check on Happy Birthday. Oh, and it throws incredible. And I did this one the other day because, well, my bars are getting kind of juicy and I just love it so much. Sweet plum pastry. Same deal I did. This divided in my bedroom and office. And then I did these two in my living room, kitchen, dining room. Sweet plum pastry. Listen, I mean, look at how yellow this is compared to this clam. Like night and day difference, right? I love, I love, I love I'm basic when it comes to this. Sweet Plum Pastry is incredible. It is not in my Sensei Club. I have less than five bars left in my collection. It needs to get voted back and bring back my bar or they need to make this a brick or something so I can get my, my hands on more Sweet Plum Pastry. But until then, I melt it every once in a while and it makes my heart super, super happy. So Sweet Plum Pastry for the win. I love, love, love it. So. Did some sweet plum pastry. A uh, super big disappointment. Is this the other one? Yeah, king cake. Very disappointed. I did two of these in my living room, dining room, kitchen area. I like the scent, but I smelled it for like an hour and then it was done. It's like a very rich, delicious cake. Hear me out. Very different than happy birthday. Very different from happy birthday. But what I will say is... This almost has the almond note that almond croissant has. Totally different. I would vote almond croissant over king cake any day of the week. But I feel like this is, if you liked almond croissant, you'll like this. But performance-wise, I just did not hold up. I still have a ton of these bars. I hoarded them because I love the sand. But it just did not perform like I wanted it to. So disappointed in that one. Fell in love with this one. White Amber Antique. I did this in my bedroom. I really have told you over the last year, I really like those like more masculine fragrances in my bedroom. And this smells very similar to Mahogany Teakwood from Bath and Body Works, but a hint more perfumey. Almost if they decided, I want to make Mahogany Teakwood a women's fragrance. Every fragrance is gender neutral. It's all in how you market it. But I think this is a slightly more perfumey version of Mahogany Teakwood. I love it. If this ever went away, I would add this to my club, but it is in the catalog and it's in laundry too. And after melting this bar in my bedroom, I totally want my whole sheets and everything to smell like this. White Amber and Teak for the win. Really impressed. Really, really, really impressed. I just took this out yesterday from my bedroom, Street Parade. This is from the Mardi Gras collection. It was fine. It was fruity. It leaned grape cough syrup to me. And I know it's not a cough syrup fragrance, obviously. Not a cough syrup fragrance, but not necessarily a grape fragrance. But it had that medicinal scent to me that I just did not care for. So... It was okay. It was very strong, very strong in my bedroom. Would not recommend if you don't like those medicinal type of fragrances. That's how it leaned to my nose. So did not care for that. I did Leather and Lace from Candles by Victoria. I was in the mood for a leather scent and this fit the bill. This is definitely a more feminine leather scent, like a leather handbag versus like a leather saddle or a belt or you know anything like that so finish that i have in my bathroom super interesting happy birthday from fantasy wax i would never melt 
like a bakery scent in the bathroom, but it's my birthday and I wanted to use these birthday tarts up. Oh, I like, it's definitely not as good as Scentsy's Happy Birthday. This is vanilla, buttercream, and powdered sugar. I don't purchase vendor wax anymore, but I still have a few um, pieces left. So trying to use that up. As far as the non-wax empties go, I put in a freshly brewed coffee wallflower in my kitchen. I have this going on high in my kitchen and I can't even smell it. So that was not a win. And then I have mahogany teakwood in my entryway. So it's like outside of my apartment. Um, own the whole building, but like I have a section that is just for me. And this was going in the entryway. I love this. Listen, I'm basic. I love mahogany teakwood. And then in the other entryway, I have pink lavender and espresso. This is going to focus. Pink, lavender, and espresso. There we go. Love. This is a great fragrance. Rich pink lavender, caramel espresso beans, and smooth vanilla. Although, you know what it's a dupe of? Or not a dupe of, but it's the same fragrance. Lavender marshmallow from Bath & Body Works. Same fragrance. Absolutely. Like, people are like, oh, I can smell the espresso in there. I think it's a mind thing. I really do. Because to me, lavender marshmallow and pink lavender and espresso are the same fragrance. I finished an old In The Stars shower gel. I love In The Stars. Oh, this is great. It's starflower, sandalwood musk, sugar tangelo, white agarwood, and radiant amber. It's a beautiful scent. I have a couple more of these. I really like In The Stars. And I like Bath & Body Works shower gel formula. I finished Scentsy Pods in sheer leather. I don't remember. I put these in my air purifier. There's no scent left, but I didn't really get anything from it. I finished the Saltaire Lush Greens Skin Balancing Serum Body Wash. I love Saltaire body washes. They come with a pump, but the pumps are not recyclable, but the aluminum uh, can is. So I will go ahead and recycle this, but I really enjoyed the fragrance. Sea fennel, willow herb, and bamboo add essential nutrients while niacinamide and zinc PCA work to improve the look of uneven tone and texture really enjoyed this product really enjoy all of saltair you can find this in target and at saltair.com it's a great body wash formula and i find that the scents actually last on your skin afterwards i was super targeted to try this laundry detergent from tiktok i really like it i like the formula a lot i do not like the container it's in it does have a pore spout cap but to get the little last bit out, I tried to pop it off. It did not pop off right away. I just had to use pliers to, to pry it off, and then it obviously broke. But I also didn't like the way that it dripped. It didn't stop. So, like, there was constantly drippings of laundry detergent down here, and I do not like that. I like my products to stay pristine. I know you're using them. Why does it matter? I don't know. My OCD brain. But this is the Mosey Wash Laundry Detergent. In the fragrance Sugar Dew. I found this on TikTok. I bought all four. I'm slowly working my way through them, but I like the way that it makes my clothes smell. Obviously, it's laundry detergent. It should. You don't need a scent booster. You don't need anything with these, and you truly can smell the scent on your clothes for a long time. I just did not love the um the bottle, but really enjoyed it. It's plant-based. It's super, super um concentrated you literally need one ounce for a small load and two ounces for a large load like it lasted forever at least like 50 washes for me so i really enjoyed it and the fragrance is a dupe of capri blue volcano so really enjoyed that and that is it that is everything that i finished in these last couple of weeks let me know what did you guys get through and are you having a great start to your month we are Two weeks into March, three more left. I'm about to pack and get ready for my trip. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Have a great one. Bye, guys.